good day guys it's been a sigma here and welcome back to my youtube channel this is a comprehensive guide on how to use the eus pro version 6.4 that is the latest uh, version of the eus pro stable version on windows once you download the tool which i'll put a link in the description below you have to unzip the tool and this is how the interface looks like uh, it's very simple and the developer is Ahmed Unlocker. I'll put the link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Now, if uh, you have an iPhone from 6s to X, you can go ahead and follow the same step if the device is on passcode or iPhone unavailable. This phone is an iPhone 7 Plus that is currently locked with both Apple ID lock or iCloud lock and also um, passcode lock. So you first have to put a device into recovery mode before we proceed. You don't have to put a device into DFU mode directly because when you do that, most of the times during the booting process, the device will restart. So you first have to put it into recovery, which is what I'm currently doing. You can follow the same step to put the device into, into recovery. So now I have my iPhone 7 Plus connected in recovery mode. Now the first thing I need to do is to copy the ECID number and the registration link is in the description below. This device is already registered. All right, sure. So you click on the DFU helper. And then you follow the on screen instruction you click start and then you are going to hold the keys to put the device into dfu mode once again this software is a paid tool so it is not it's not a free tool the registration link will be put in the description below all right sure so i have my device in dfu mode now what i need to do next is to make sure that the device is connected uh under this um universal serial bus controller and it's showing this way um apple mobile device usb driver and it's uh, currently the correct version of the driver you click on either upon dfu or check emit uh any of these that will work for you i'll go with the check emit uh, upon dfu to point the device so once you check that your driver is okay then you go ahead and then you point the device if the driver is not showing like what is what you are seeing in the video then you need to uninstall the driver uh, okay so the pawn is completed you can see you just click ok and then you head over to this side and you choose your ios version mine is ios 15 so i'll go with the ios 12 to 15 and then you click boot ram disk this will also um, download the ram disk file for device and boot uh, the device so you have to make sure that you have a good internet connection because it's going to download the ram disk file this will also take some time depending on your internet speed all right sure so the ram disk booting is completed click on ok and then the next thing you need to do is also tick on this option and choose the iOS version and click mount fix mount fix all right sure it's done so you see this click ok and then click backup files so this is going to back up the activation files that has been stored on the device the backup is done click yes to erase the device click no if you don't want to erase the device so in my case i want to erase the device so that i'll restore the backup so you click yes you understand to erase the device after backing up the activation files so this is going to um restart as you can see in the video it's going to reboot and uh return to the activation lock uh, or lock screen all right sure so here we are on the activation lock screen and we are going to repeat the same process as you can see the device is stuck on the iphone lock to owner as you can see so you click on enter dfu whilst uh, you connect the device let me real quick check if the device is connected or say okay so the device is connected in normal you click dfu helper and then you click enter recovery mode this is going to put the device into um, recovery mode for us to proceed with the um, restore all right sure so the device is in recovery now you just need to click on the start button here to um put the device into dfu mode always put the device into recovery before the dfu mode to prevent any um reboot during the process all right sure so i have the device in dfu mode now let's click ok and then move on to 
the pond DFA. Once again, you check if your driver is okay before you proceed to prevent any error during the process. Click on pond, check emit, and then wait for the device to pawn. All right, sure. So once it's done, click one that is done is you just click on OK, and then you take you click on this option and choose the iOS version. Once again, just like we did earlier, and you click on boot RAM disk. This time around, the tool is not going to re-download the RAM disk file for your device. It's already downloaded and it's in the RAM disk folder of the tool, so it's just going to boot directly. And this is not going to take time, unlike the um, previous uh, RAM disk booting. Here we are the booting is completed click ok once again and then you tick this option you click on this option and choose the ios version and then you mount fix one more time all right sure so the mount is completed click restore files and then disable ot uh or erase so this is going to restore the activation files for device and skip the activation lock so that we can be able to use our device with sim working and all apple services the plus disable ota and erase is just basically going to disable the ota update to prevent relock and also disable the erase function on the device which means that anytime you try to erase the device it's, go it's not going to um, actually erase it yeah so that you it will prevent you from erasing the activation files so that the device um uh, will not lock maybe in the future so as you can see it's already showing in three tools that the device is already activated and uh what you need to just do here is to just set it up as a fresh device all right so as you can see uh the <laughs> golden ticket uh, the golden ticket hand has been handled to me and then uh i have to go ahead to use my device uh, with same working and all apple service um if you haven't subscribed yet please and please consider hitting the subscribe button and also um give us a like and turn on the bell uh, bell notification for our future update all right sure so thanks for watching i'm um, gonna see you guys in my next video peace out till then peace out